Hi guys, I'm Laura and welcome to my fall festive October favourites. If you are new here, welcome. I hope that you love everything that I have fallen in love with this fall season. So I'm going to be sharing my favourite home decor, clothes, products and just other random stuff that I love. It is also a perfect way to answer some of your questions from the morning routine video last week where I highlighted some of the products that I use. So I'm going to be answering some of these questions in this video today as well because they are my favourites. And I'm also excited to hear that you guys loved the vitamin D machine and that it's on a bunch of your Christmas lists. So let's get into it. So products, we're going to start with primer. Now I've just first got to say I broke this. <laughs> Um, I put it in a drawer that didn't close properly and then I smashed it so um, it doesn't come like this it does actually have a bottle that connects but um, anyway ignore that this is the primer that I have been loving for a while now it's a hundred percent pure luminous primer with vitamins and antioxidants I used to not understand primer at all People would use primer when I would see makeup tutorials and I'd be like, why do you need primer? Why do I want to put anything underneath my foundation? But somewhere along the line, I tried it and I get it. <laughs> so what it does is create an extra layer between your skin and the foundation and it just means that the foundation goes on so much better, it lasts longer. Plus it feels like smooth and it just smooths things out. So if you haven't tried primer, definitely recommend it. This is all 100% pure as it says. You can basically eat this. It's got like vitamin C, jojoba, aloe juice, really good. So once you have applied your primer, then we're gonna move on to foundation. This is actually a tinted moisturizer. This is fruit pigmented. So. As with all the 100% pure products, I think you can eat these. Probably not recommended, doubt it tastes too good. But on your face, it goes on really smooth and it just creates a nice coverage without feeling like I have a thick, cakey, like, mask on my face. So I have been using this for a while. This is the Peach Bisque. Um, I will put all the links, links down below. Definitely recommend 100% pure fruit pigmented tinted moisturizer. So this guy was in my morning routine video last week and you've got a glimmer of him. This is the Thai Crystal Deodorant Mist. So I for a long time have known that antiperspirant is not a good idea. You don't want to be clogging up your pores. You want your sweat to come out because that's how your body detoxes. And if you keep it in, then it can make a big cesspit and it's not a good idea. But of course you don't want to smell. Now, I know that some people have challenges with this because if you have been using antiperspirant for a while or like hardcore deodorants, if you come off them, your body can be releasing all the toxins and then you smell and so you're like, well, the deodorant doesn't work. If you give it a chance and let your body actually detox, just wash regularly, you will find that you will smell less and this, I have to say for me, works really great. It has no smell at all, it's literally just like salt and water and that's really nice because then I can put you know, any extra fragrance that I want without um, having to mix it with a stinky deodorant. So this is Amazing Thai Crystal Deodorant Mist and if you have tried the, there's a little like rock version of this, I have tried that in the past and I hated it, it gave me like a rash. So if you've tried that and you didn't like it, try this spray one instead, it really works. So that's a forever favorite. So as it is getting cooler and I have started to notice in my skin that I'm starting to need hand moisturizer again, this is yummy. Yes, again, 100% pure. Not sponsored by them, but I would like to be 100% pure. I love your products, you can definitely sponsor me if you like. Um, this is the Fresh Lavender Hand Buttercream and I like it because it's small, it comes, as you can see I've used most of it. It um, comes in this lovely little, oops, did that just like go on my face? Yes. Um, this lovely little travel sized 
um, container which would just fit nice in your handbag or by the side of your bed or in your bathroom cabinet and it smells mm, gorgeous of lavender really really nice so particularly at night time this is really nice because lavender I feel just puts you in that nice calm relaxed peaceful mode so um, if you don't have time for you know a nice bath or some extra care but you do have time to put on hand moisturizer definitely recommend really nice so moving on to my favorite makeup products of the month we have, again, 100% pure. Um, this is the Pretty Naked Natural Face Palette. So inside, I just think this is really cute. It's really light, so if you carry your makeup around, which every once in a while, I don't do my makeup at home and I actually carry it with me. It's really nice and light, which I really like, and it has a lovely mix, very neutral, and a natural tones, which I feel is great for fall. You've got a nice little mirror in here because I often forget to carry a mirror. So that is nice, you've got this lovely pink and then a bunch of different nude tones and then the darker tones for um, in the crease. So this I am loving, definitely, definitely one of my favorites. And then for my lips, Again, 100% pure. Um, this is, what is this called? This is called pomegranate. Um, so as you can see, it's a nice, it's actually the color that I have on right now. So it's, I guess, berry, pomegranate's berries. I don't know, I don't think so technically, but anyway, it's a berry tone, I guess. Um, really smooth, moisturizing, I love the packaging, it's small, it's easy to carry around, and again, you can eat it. So if you get hungry, you always have a lipstick that you can eat, which is good, I guess, if you're gonna put it on your lips, right? Cool. So also, October, I've been very into using my vitamin D machine, I guess because summer is officially gone, and I want to set myself up right to make it through the winter months still getting my vitamin D and having a little healthy glow. So some of your questions about the sun machine, I will put links down below, but it's Dr. McCola. I bought mine about five years ago. I've been a little sporadic at using it. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't want to stand there for 10 minutes or 20 minutes with no clothes on each morning. But I have been making myself and I have to say I feel so much better. So those of you who are asking, will it help with this? Will it help with that? I've been looking for something like that. Yes, it will. I really recommend it. It gives off UVA and UVB rays, also some infrared, which are really good for you. It gets your skin to create its own natural vitamin D, which is so much more powerful than taking it in oral form, which I think is also still good. And obviously not all of you are gonna be able to get a vitamin D machine right away, but it is worth saving up for or putting on your Christmas list. And um, as you saw in last week's video, it's pretty small. It is easy to store, believe it or not, and definitely, definitely loving it. So yay, vitamin D. Moving on to home goods. Since moving into this apartment, I have been loving decorating my home even more and you might have noticed or you might know this about me that I am a bit of a Pier 1 fanatic. I love everything Pier 1. If you watch the vlogs, you will have come with me to Pier 1 a bunch of times. And I don't know if you know, but I used to work at Pier 1 when I was like 18 in England, so maybe that's why I love it. Maybe there's something about the smell of it. I don't know, um, but I feel like it's a great store for a really lovely, diverse range of things. Accessible in that they're not too expensive, but they're like nice and different and quirky. So my favorite Pier 1 products of the month are, first of all, this little owl. You might have spotted him. He has been in, he was hanging out in a few of my videos, kind of hiding in the background. Really into owls if you saw my pumpkin carving video, which by the way, Elizabeth won. Unanimous, although I 
want to re-vote because I definitely love my owl. But anyway, congratulations. <laughs> I, Elizabeth's um, skull was amazing, so shout out to you, Elizabeth. Anyway, as you saw from the pumpkin video, really like owls, particularly this time of year. And he's just really soft and sweet, and he has real feathers on him that are now floating everywhere. Um, and I just feel like he just gives a like watchful eye. So I have him on my mantelpiece. And then if you have been following me on Instagram, which I hope that you have, you might have seen this leaf. I was gonna call him a guy. I feel like in America, everyone calls things guys. This guy and that guy. Is that just America or is that everywhere? I don't know. We have this guy who I actually, are you from Pier 1? I, you must be. I, I don't know. I think it's from Pier 1. Um, but these are definitely from Pier 1. The little gold acorns and these little pine cones, which are just really cute. And just a couple of them sprinkled around the house. I have these on my little table where I like to have breakfast. Just give an extra pop of fall and I just love gold. I just will put gold anywhere and everywhere. So that is lovely. So also from Pier 1, I have my favorite tea towel, which you also saw in my morning routine video. Although I put it in the laundry and it's all kind of shedding a bit, which I'm not so happy about. So that is not my favorite thing, but I do love that it has pumpkins on it and everyone loves pumpkins in October, right? I have turned into a pumpkin fanatic. There's pumpkins all over my house. I even have some here to show you. Pumpkins, 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 pumpkins everywhere. And this isn't technically home goods, but I'm gonna say it now because I said pumpkins. Roasting these guys, these guys, <laughs> roasting these pumpkins. Don't know about these ones. I think these are just decorative, but these ones, at my um, Halloween party, we put these in the oven whole, which is awesome, because there's no prep. You literally just shove it in the oven, nothing on it. How long did we leave it? No idea, totally lost track of time, but just keep your eye on it and stick a knife in it and you'll know when it's done. And then sliced it up, so good. So, so, so good. And I'm gonna make pumpkin soup this month. That is gonna be my November favorite. So if you have a pumpkin soup recipe, um, please send it to me or link it in the comments below. Um, so yeah, loving pumpkins, but these are just everywhere in my house. I think every single room has a pumpkin. So back to home goods. Da, da, da. Obviously, we cannot have an October favorites without a Halloween. Ah, oops. That is not a good idea. Had a feeling that might happen. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, so you don't want to do that? Oh no, I have wax all over my hand. <laughs> ah! And all over my clothes. Oh well, I guess it will come out. It's kind of cool. Look, it looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put him down now. Anyway, he's definitely my favorite Halloween thing. Halloween thing, home decor thing. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, obviously he's a skeleton, which as you know, I love skeletons and he holds candles and I love candles. So you can't really get better than that. Oh, and he has a top hat on, extra bonus. So I'm gonna put you down now. Don't try that at home. <laughs> this is not from Pier 1. This is from <laughs> the food co-op. Um, which, as you watch the vlogs, you will know, is my favorite local uh, grocery store that you have to be a member of to shop there, and it's amazing and really inexpensive and amazing, amazing produce. They also sell candles. I don't know what the make is of this because I took the sticker off the bottom and threw it out. I will look when I go to the food co-op. But, as you can see, it's a beautiful orange, which is perfect for this time of year, and it smells Oh, so good. This is, oh, this is called fall something, or pumpkin, pumpkin spice, maybe? Something very fall, and I was like, I have to get this candle. It smells really good. 
I not normally into scented candles because usually the scented candles you get at regular stores, for example in Pier 1, I won't buy candles from there because they're full of toxic stuff and I don't want to be breathing that in. But these ones from the co-op I feel are good. So yay for candles. Can't really have enough candles at this time of year. I almost forgot I've got these candles. <laughs> Excuse my waxy hands. Um, aren't these cute? AKA little pumpkin and little squash. I just think they're really cute and I haven't wanted to light them because I feel like once I do they're gonna vanish because that is the problem with candles. When you light them, they go away. Um, so I haven't lit them yet, but really like these. And my last home good thing is, would you call this a home good thing? Leaves. So I went to the park and actually even my back garden too, I've got all lots of leaves, need to rake my grass again. But these ones I got from the park and just beautiful. So again, if you're following me on Instagram, actually also Twitter and Facebook, you might have seen these. I have leaves everywhere. So there are a collection of leaves in different piles around my home and I just think it's a lovely way to bring the fall and the season and the color into your home. And I really thought they were gonna be more messy than they are, um, and they're not. They've actually stayed really lovely. So go pick yourself up some leaves. Obviously, they're pretty cheap. I actually have one more home thing, and that is my favorite mug. Can you tell the theme here? Yes. My favorite leaf and my favorite mug that matches. So. Again, it's fall. I just have to drink out of a full mug. I feel like I say my favorite mug to every single mug. I know I have my favorite mug in the other video, in my <laughs> morning routine video. They're all my favorite. Depending on which one I pick up, I'm like, you're my favorite mug. Moving on to clothes that are now covered in wax. <laughs> so ignore that part. Um, this sweater, shirty thing. Oh boy. Okay, well that will come out. Anyway, ignore that. This is from Zara and obviously it's orange, which is very full festive. And it has these lovely little details on the sleeves. I love that it's got the little like kind of open cut thing here and then the little gold, love gold, buttons on the sleeves. And I just think it is really, really lovely, feels really nice. And if you haven't noticed, my major favorite of October, which I wore this with, are my dungarees. Why or why am I such a dungaree fanatic all of a sudden? Um, you know, I think I must have worn them as a kid. And actually, I just remembered, I was Skyping with my mom the other day, and I think I was wearing dungarees. I was like, why do I love dungarees so much? And she said that she actually wore dungarees like pretty much all the time when she was pregnant with me so maybe it just like went through and I just got the dungaree thing um, but they have not been in fashion until literally this year so I haven't had any and now I have like five pairs but they're not all long these are like long and they're stretchy which is extra bonus because as you know I like to dance around and kick my legs in the air um, whatever I'm wearing, so that's really amazing. They also feel really nice on my back. They feel like a big hug. And uh, yeah, they're just really awesome. And these are from H&M, and they, I can't remember how much they were, but they weren't that much. They were really great, and they got nice pockets. And also from H&M, from H&M, I was wearing these in the morning routine video. These are also nice four color pants. As you can see, no zipper, which I am a fan of. Elasticated waistband, very elastic. Again, I can kick my legs and move great in these. And they also just look really nice because normally once it gets not summer anymore, I just wanna live in leggings and sweatpants, which I'm trying not to do. These pants have made it a lot easier to do that because they actually feel really comfortable, but they also look really nice. So yay H&M, thank you. 
And lastly, but most importantly, the other random stuff that I love. I'm not alone on this. Please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below if you are with me on these. The new emojis. Oh my goodness. Um, who texted me? Someone texted me a load of emojis the night, I think it was Robin, the night they came out and was like, oh my god, they have unicorns! They have unicorns. Oh, which reminds me I'm wearing a unicorn shirt. Forgot to mention that. Also H&M, also an October favourite. Really into unicorns this month, so definitely <laughs> in my October favourites. Are amazing. And the leaves. I have lots of emoji favourites. Also, if you follow me, you will notice I like to talk in emojis. So, yay for new emojis! Okay, last two things. We have my favourite movie and my favourite song. This is not a new movie, but I just saw it this month. Inception. Have you seen Inception? Really cool. It kind of made me pass out when I was watching it. Just taking you into the worlds of worlds of worlds and dreams and dreams and dreams. The layers of consciousness, of the layers of this is what I see, but then underneath it, this is actually what's going on. And then the beliefs that are under that and the fears that are under that. And it's, it's trippy and it's cool. So I definitely recommend that you check out Inception if you haven't. And then my favorite song of the month which I don't know if I can put a clip in because YouTube might not like it. <gasps> Michael Moore's Downtown. Downtown. Okay, I have this vision that is so gonna happen. A big, epic dance music video to it. I have, Michael Moore has already done an amazing video to it, so I'll put the link below, go check it out. But we're definitely going to do a really big ass We Dance Day to downtown. Freaking love it. So I think that is the end of my October favourites. I have to say I've loved October more than ever this month. This month. What? <laughs> I mean, this month as opposed to previous Octobers. I don't know. I'm just really into October this month. Anyway, it's now November. Which is also going to be really cool because it's my birthday, November 24th, if you want to send me a present. And it's also Thanksgiving, which I'm slowly warming up to, 13 years later of being in New York. And I'm beginning to understand Thanksgiving and look forward to it. So I'm going to get my house all decorated and nice and cute, ready for Thanksgiving. So let me know what you love from this video, if there was anything that you were like, oh yeah, want to get one of those, or things that you think that I might be interested in, but maybe you will want to make an appearance in my November favourites. If you have any recommendations for other makeup and skincare products that aren't 100% pure, but are 100% pure, please let me know about them, because I do want to branch out, I do want to try other things, but the prerequisite is I need to be able to eat it. So that does cut down the options a little bit. And I think that is it. So if you are new here, thank you. And hope that you love this video. And make sure that you subscribe, please, because I'm making lots of lovely content and you definitely want to check out November. It's going to be a really fun month. And if you want all the details on what I love and what I do and my routines and my products and why I use different things, I have created the superhuman routine, which you can check out. I'll put a link or the little like tab thing. I'll put a link in the description box. Go check out the superhuman routine if you want more deeper insights, not just products, but also how to create change so that you develop healthy habits that actually stick, I can help you. So go check that out, superhumanroutine.com, and I will see you next week for another video and tomorrow for another vlog and yay yay october so see you guys next week Mwah. love you bye or tomorrow or whenever or every day bye <laughs> i can't believe i'm covered in wax <laughs>